New Year's resolutions are a good idea, but it might be time to accept myself for who I am, Finley writes, photo, John T. Grilich slash the Detroit News, by photo. With the deadline fast approaching, I still haven't settled on a New Year's resolution for 2018. The exercise of resolving to make a significant change in the year ahead to better yourself as a person, improve your health or change bad habits is a worthwhile one. It's good to start a new year with an honest assessment of where you are and where you'd like to be at year's end. Putting your energy behind achieving a goal can be satisfying and inspiring. A few years ago, I pledged myself to reading four books a month. Finding the time to pull it off was a challenge, but as the final minutes of the year ticked down, I turned the last few pages of book no. 48, I'll admit, not all the tomes were war and peace, there were some skinny volumes on the reading list. This year, though, I'm uninspired, even though there are plenty of things about me that could use fixing. I could resolve to eat healthier and exercise more, but whenever I consider that I remember what I told my doctor when he talked to me about changing my lifestyle to lower my blood pressure, I'll just take the pill. I know myself too well to be delusional about my ability to pull off sustained deprivation. And besides, I lost some weight last year during Lent and so far it hasn't come back, and I can't afford to replace my wardrobe again. Likewise, I could vow to be nicer, more sensitive, more attentive to my friends and loved ones, and a lot less judgmental. But good lord, that would take more than an amendment, it would require a constitutional convention. And even then, the measure of success for such a wholesale improvement is subjective. I may think I've pulled off the transformation, but everyone else might still view me as a self-absorbed crank. I'd hate to do all that heavy lifting with no visible payoff. A lot of folks resolve to have more fun, take more trips, pursue more adventures. That all sounds good, if a little selfish. But I'd hate for having fun, traveling and adventuring to become an obligation instead of an avocation. Turning them into a resolution might kill the joy of spontaneity. Truth is, I may be getting too old to improve much of anything. After 60 plus years, this may be it in terms of my development. The reality may be that I'm never going to have a six pack, never going to learn to water ski, not gonna pick up a foreign language or turn out a perfect pan of biscuits. Nor am I likely to become a vegan, curb my temper or develop the tact not to ask are you pregnant, unless the woman is wearing a t-shirt that says I'm pregnant. And I enjoy grouchiness too much to ever give it up for good. Same goes for bourbon. And fruit cake. There may be some small adjustments I can make, a bit of tinkering here and there. But I realize now I'm a finished product, with all the imperfections baked in for good. And that sounds like the just right resolution, to accept the permanence of my flab and flaws and not start the new year under the enormous, self-imposed pressure to erase them. To paraphrase Popeye, I am who I am.